Before we are diving into uh, insert the purfling, uh, I want to uh, show you some uh, facts uh, that I find very interesting. And uh, this is uh, the Huberman uh, the, uh, Stradivari. Uh, bring you closer. You see, uh, Huberman Strad. 1713 and uh, I want to bring attention to uh, this part here. Can you see at the CT scan how very very shallow the inlay is put in here it's well it's just on the surface it's very very uh, shallow the, the depth of the perfling cannot be more than like half a millimeter or so bring out and uh, to make a purfling around the whole edge with such a precision uh, that you have it on this half a millimeter depth uh, that uh, would be impossible in, in my opinion, it would be impossible to do if you follow the uh, the method described in the Guarnieri book. Uh, here they say that you first make um, a flat surface where you put the purfling in, and then you cut it in parts uh, down very much so uh, from the start it's very high like five uh, I think around five millimeters or so and then you put your purfling in very deep and then you cut the channel and you end up with a, uh, the form of the channel uh, this is made in eight steps, no, sorry, nine steps. Then you have to really make the last uh, part of the arching down to the channel too. And um, if this was the case that they did it, uh, make a purfling all around that is half a millimeter into the wood would be almost impossible because uh, the channel is uh, varying in, uh, in depth. So uh, I think also my theory is that uh, uh, the channel was sort of already made. Uh, it doesn't happen very much here. Uh, if you make a purfling depth of around one millimeter or so uh, and put your purfling in, you can just sort of cut it off here and uh, well, trim it a little bit and uh, you have your uh, half a millimeter purfling around the edges. So um, uh, I have now uh, made, well, I uh, uh, I filed the edge so it's round. You can feel with your fingers that it's round and so. And uh, no uh, corners or anything that troubles this uh, fluid line. And uh, 
then after that I made my second provisional channel so that uh, I can put the purfling in inside of the uh, of the edge here uh, also in the corners so uh, now we're doing the purfling and uh, in order to have the tool running smoothly we put soap on the edge Uh, you can say about the Jaso purflings that they are sometimes pretty wild uh, and uh, most people copying uh, uh, old violins fall on the purfling part because they make the purfling too too nice. <laughs> uh, Perflings are really uh, made to be uh, very equal and uh, very often you see, uh, or every, uh, every time you see perflings of uh, varying, uh, varying uh, thicknesses, like the blacks are. Some, sometimes the black on one side of the purfling is twice the thickness as on the outer side and so on. But um, I don't uh, do that much uh, trouble to uh, make the purflings very rocky. Uh, I have my fantastic purfling tool made from uh, an English gentleman, Brian Hart. Uh, sorry to say, but I think he has passed away. I have my tool for bringing out excess wood. I have a file with a... Uh, well, I made some teeth on here, so I can sort of take away uh, things in a bottom of the channel, perfect channel, so uh, even it out a little bit. And I have my stick here that uh, I will show you later how to, it's a help when I glue the perflings. Uh, well, I know this uh, uh, tool is set for uh, a Del Jesu uh, channel, so uh, I will not uh, need to check the width from the edge and uh, the width uh, of the purfling. Uh, I know it's where I want it. It's about four millimeters inside, and uh, uh, the the purfling width will be around 1.2, 1.3 maybe. And uh, the first cut, I don't do very much pressure on, so it doesn't take the directions from uh, from the grain. And. Uh, Spruce is so soft that we can go for the full depth. Well, I have two knives in this, I forgot to say. And I don't go into the corners with this one. Uh, 
I do that with a knife later. Like that, and then I get my knife for doing the corners, and uh, well, it's just looking in any book or poster or whatever to see how the corners look like on the Jesus. Uh, you don't have this uh, bee sting that you see in strats. Uh, these points are aiming for the middle of the corner. Where strads are, oh, well, you know, they go for uh, the inner corner of in the corner of the corner. When I see uh, modern violins, I 
often look at how this uh, this line goes. Sometimes it sort of loses the tension and goes straight out like there. I like when it still have a curve all the way into the corners. Okay, and then we take this out. And uh, 